What's going on everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now, today's gameplay is absolutely insane. Sadly, we went ahead and we choked the nuke, but to be honest, we completely tore through the competition. But the reason I want to go ahead and showcase this footage right here is because I think it is the perfect example for today's topic. Now, for anybody who enjoys old school classic Call of Duty games, and when I say that, I mean Call of Duty 4, World at War, you know, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 1, and Black Ops 2. I would even go as far as, you know, maybe, maybe even considering possibly Ghost and, you know, Black Ops 3, but that's not really old school. And when I say old school, I usually consider it Black Ops 2 and before. But when you think back to those games, yes, there's always metas established. But the majority of those games had perfect variety when it comes to gunplay. When I think back to Modern Warfare 2, I think of all of the overpowered cheese that was at my disposal. I honestly don't think there was one assault rifle, one SMG, any gun that I truly despised in that game. Now, of course, you know, there were some things like the F-2000, for example, as an assault rifle, but at the end of the day, it was still good, it was still viable, it just wasn't good as the rest, but when I think to the TAR, the ACR, the SCAR, you know, the FAMAS, you know, the UMP, the Vector, the Mini Uzi, all of the guns absolutely wrecked, and even though people would gravitate towards, you know, a suppressed UMP or something of that sort, you can still compete at the end of the day. Everything felt powerful. And in my opinion, that's what gave Call of Duty a charm. You know, you can hop into there and you don't really have to feel like you're obligated to use something. You can use whatever you want and still have a partially good experience. Now, as time has evolved in the Call of Duty franchise, uh, more current date as you see now, metas are extremely hardcore. Like I said, metas have always been a thing in every video game I could possibly think of. But current date, you can't stray away from the meta. I mean, Black Ops Cold War, Modern Warfare 2019, Vanguard. Yes, there is some variety. Yes, they kept adding in weapons every single season. But when a meta was established, a meta was truly established. You know, it was no way possible to really beat around the bush on this situation. You know, every single season that came out, the next overpowered weapon was what was completely dominating every single lobby you could possibly see. Now, here we are with Modern Warfare 2, and I have to give Infinity Ward complete credit on this one, and it makes me extremely happy and excited for future content that's going to be added into this game as well. The weapon variety in this game is absolutely perfect. Again, like I said, I wanted to showcase this gameplay for a reason. A lot of people hate the MP7. I feel like people are still in the mindset that there is a meta. You know, every other Call of Duty game has a meta. Modern Warfare 2 must have a meta, right? Well, I'm here to tell you, no, there is a literally no meta in this game. Now, while you're using these guns in their base version, yeah, it's going to feel like it's a meta, you know, using a base MP7, a base P90, you know, a base AUG, a base anything is going to feel a little unrewarding. Some of the guns, you know, maybe not the base AUG, the base AUG was pretty good, the base AK is pretty good, but you get the point I'm trying to make here, you know, you use a base gun against someone who's only used the M4 since the very first day they loaded up the game, have it completely decked out. If you're using a base MP7 against that, you're not going to have a very fun match, and it's going to jam in your head, oh my god, there's a meta. M4 is meta, you know? Trust me, guys. Try the variety in this game. There is truly, when I say there is not a single assault rifle or SMG that I truly hate in this game, I really mean that. And I'm not talking about one or two weapons being average or a little below average. No, I'm talking about none of them are bad. Truly, once you get attachments for every gun in this game, they shred through absolutely everything. And I personally love that. I'm a guy who loves variety in the game. And even though, you know, if it's a meta, I will adapt. You know, I adapt to games that I play. I don't mind a little competition. I don't mind versing people who are equally skilled. You know, my problem with skill-based matchmaking is when I play solo, my team isn't usually backed up the same way the matchmaking decides to back up the enemy team. You know what I'm saying? That's my problem. But if there's a meta, you best believe I'm going to go ahead and adapt to it. But in Modern Warfare 2, I have just been having the time of my life, messing around with every gun known to mankind. And I've versed the ultimate sweats, you know, skill-based matchmaking, I already made a video about this. If you want to check it out, it's, uh, I believe it came out yesterday. It's thick, you know, I'll be straight up, it's thick in Modern Warfare 2. You're going to be sweating your butt off. If you're thinking about getting this game for a casual experience playing solo, don't count on it until they, you know, publicly address any changes. But if you don't mind a little sweat here and there, you will enjoy the variety in this game. I mean, I'm slapping M4 sweats all day, every day. And of course, these individuals are good. They're getting kills on me. It's not like I'm streaking up against sweats 24-7. You know what I'm saying? But 
Can I fight back? You know, if that individual's on a head glitch and he's watching me with the M4, can my gun, that's not a meta weapon, still be able to engage with him and give me an upper hand advantage? Yes. Every way, shape, and form. I mean, shoot, even the shotguns, in my personal opinion, are perfectly balanced. You can deck them out to be pretty powerful, but at the end of the day, they went the perfect route in my opinion. And shotguns are a pretty hot debate, you know? They're either extremely realistic, they have crazy range, they have crazy damage, or the developers make it so it's fitting for an arcade shooter. So it works with the balancing of the game. So fully automatic weapons that don't kill as fast as a shotgun pump that also has a recoil pattern to control, they want to make sure that that is balanced out with the shotgun players. And they did it good in Modern Warfare 2, in my opinion. From my personal experience, I have tons of shotgun gameplay that I'm going to go ahead and show you guys because I think it's really fun. I can run a gun like crazy with a shotgun on some of these map layouts. But in Modern Warfare 2, in order to use a shotgun, you have to keep up close and personal. You're not going to be taking out assault rifle players. You're not going to be taking out SMG players. You know, that was one of my biggest complaints in every COD game. If I'm running an SMG, what's the point of, you know, going up against a shotgun player? If you logically think about it, an SMG is made for close range, a shotgun's made for close range. So if they both go up against each other in a close range building, the shotgun is clearly going to win. The SMG needs some way to overcome the shotgun, you know, some possibility to make it a little bit more powerful in some type of engagement. So I guess now there's extremely close quarters, which is shotguns, a little bit further out, which SMGs can hit, and of course the assault rifle ranges as well. I like this a ton because when I'm navigating the maps, it actually makes you have a little bit of skill with the shotgun. When you're running gunning, you have to know the map knowledge. You have to know the routes. You have to know where the tight hallways are. You have to know which rooms are easier to clear with the shotgun. You know, you have to know what you're putting self into because if you can't catch an enemy up close and personal, you're more than likely going to be dead. If you take a pathway that's a little too long, you're not going to be able to win that gunfight. You know what I'm saying? Because even if they're the slightest bit far away from you, it's going to take two pumps, and by then, you're going to die. With the time to kill this fast in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, you are going to die. Which, again, a lot of people talk about the time to kill being bad. Trust me, this is how OG COD is. You know, Modern Warfare 2, you could two-shot someone with a UMP-45 suppressed across the map. You know, it's no different in this game. But, you know, in Modern Warfare 2, you could use a spaz shotgun and kill someone across the map. Or the models, the dual models, before they got nerfed and absolutely demolished someone across the map. You know? That's how it is, but in this game, with the fast time to kill, I think it just works very nicely. I find for the first time ever in my whole Call of Duty career, you know, I've been playing Call of Duty since Call of Duty 2, the big red one, I find for the first time that shotgunners aren't really pissing me off. And for the first time in the world, for the first time, seriously, when a shotgunner kills me, I'm actually not angry, and I'm not saying, wow, that's such cheese. Every single time I die from a shotgunner, I say, wow, you know, they played the map correctly, that's my fault. I closed the gap a little too much. I gave them an advantage. You know, obviously, I'm at fault here. But in past CODs, it doesn't matter. You could be across the map and they'll still one-tap you. And that's what's so rage-inducing. It's like, well, even when I'm at a good range for my gun, a shotgun still beats me. Not here. It is, like I said, it's honestly a miracle in my personal opinion. Now, I don't know. Maybe shotguns will evolve to be something crazier at a later date. Maybe some meta classes will come out that will just turn them insane. But right now, there has not been a single shotgun player that has pissed me off truly. And when I go in their area, I know how to keep my ranges. I know how to keep my distances. They'll hit a shot on me, but I usually always win my engagements as long as my accuracy is on point. And I do want to make it very clear that I'm not saying everything is balanced out yet. You know, the game just came out and there are tons of categories and a handful of weapons that do need some tuning, whether they need to be nerfed or buffed. Honestly, I don't want to see too many nerfs. I would rather see everything get buffed around the rest of the weapons, you know, make everything overpowered, make absolutely everything useful. That's what I personally want to see. But like I said, not everything is perfect right now. It's going to take some time. The developers do have to do some work on a certain amount of weapons. But at the end of the day, am I only using one gun? No. And that's all I could ever ask for. You know, a few weapons, four weapons, a handful of weapons that get buffed, you know, whatever. At the end of the day, as long as I can use more than just one thing at the moment, I am perfectly fine. The SMG category is stacked. The AR category is stacked. You know, the shotgun category, mediocre. I don't care. It's just a shotgun. I use the uh, semi-automatic shotgun. <laughs> you know, it doesn't really bother me too much. I see some people using the 75. I see some people using the pump. You know, seems like the variety is pretty decent. LMG seem like it's a decent amount of variety. But ARs, SMGs, my personal category, <laughs> stacked. Absolutely stacked. And it makes me extremely happy. And like I said before, 
when more seasons come into the game, which I heard in season one, the Honey Badger is coming in. Ah, that's the only gun I want to see, ladies and gentlemen. That's all I need to see, and I'm going to be so happy. But as more seasons come in, I'm really excited to see how the balance happens and to see just more variety be entered into this game. But ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like. If you almost hate it, leave a dislike. Also, if you're brand new, enjoy the content. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button. Also, go to chat me. Let's do it. Do so. Twitter and Discord. Both link down in the description. And also, go to catch me live streams of video games drove on Twitch. Link that in the description as well. But guys, thanks so much for tuning in. See you on the next one. Peace out.